So I was thinking, if you had a chance, would you fly or ride your bike? Think about it. I'm Fletch, uh, and before I get on to uh, the topic of today, um, as you know, on my tags in my channel, something called support MVC, and support MVC means support the motor vlogging community. So, in light of uh, that, and in the spirit of that, so I'd like to do a shout out to three channels uh, that I think deserves. Uh, some attention and uh, of course some support and love. Uh, the first of which is called uh, Have Motor Will Travel. Uh, I think he's a very inspirational site. Uh, I think you should uh, check out his adventures and especially read his About tab because that uh, tells you a lot more about um, his situation and how it led him to riding again. The second one is Home Bees. Now I know with a title like that you would think uh, it's something else, but actually it's a husband and wife uh, riding team. They both ride motorcycles. Uh, they have really great content uh, and especially funny as well. So you really should check them out. And finally, uh, another husband and wife team. Uh, the title of the channel is BB and Crow and uh, they have some great adventures together and you should actually check out the wife's uh, adventure on her she started off with a Honda and moved on to uh, a Harley Davidson A83 so these three channels I'll place in my description below and in the cards above uh, so that you can please check them out uh, give them a little bit of love like and subscribe to them as well. Now to the topic at hand. If you had to get to a destination, would you fly or would you ride? Now, I know that uh, basically you can ride anywhere. Um, there, was there was a series called uh, The Long Way Down with uh, Ewan McGregor, the guy that acted in Star Wars and um, his friend Charlie that rode from England all the way to South Africa. We, I, we also have uh, a lady rider from Singapore that rode a Vespa all the way to Europe from Singapore. And I think that is really uh, very unique. As well, I mean, to me, they could have, they made it to, uh, their various destinations uh, by road. They could have easily flown, but you know, in that case, it's just an adventure. But okay, the premise for uh, today's question is that if you had a day to ride to reach your destination, either for work or for holiday, and there's a road between you where you are and to where you want to go, would you ride to that destination or fly? Right? And the premise is again, uh, there's a road from where you are to the destination and it should take a day, no more. Now the reason why this came about was because uh, before uh, all this craziness and the lockdowns and such, I had to go to Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malaysia for work. Right? I had a couple of projects there, I still do actually, but now with the lockdown, I can't go there. But anyway, uh, so I, I think it was the month before when I had to go up and I submitted my travel request to my CEO 
Then he looked at me and said, Hey, where's your flight ticket? So I said, Well, I'm gonna ride. He laughed and signed it anyway. But basically, uh, the distance between Singapore and Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is about 580 kilometers. And, you know, you could do that in a couple of hours. The reason why I'd rather ride than fly is this. Basically, to fly there, yes, it takes an hour, an hour, 10 minutes to get to your destination. But you have to factor in a couple of things. Uh, the first of which is getting to the airport uh, two hours before, checking in, waiting in line at immigration, sitting down waiting for two hours for the flight to take off. Uh, mind you, I'm taking the earliest flight at 7 or 7.15. And then at 7 or 7.15, the flight takes off if it's not delayed. And it's an hour, 10 minutes to uh, the destination. And then finally, spending maybe an hour uh, at immigration after leaving the plane. And finally, a two hour ride to uh, the office. Then invariably I end up there at about lunchtime and everybody's gone for lunch, I get nothing done. So you see, basically what it is, is that I would have to get up at three o'clock in the morning leave at four because uh, from where I am to the airport it's about an hour maybe 45 minutes just to be at the airport by five and then from five to seven I'm just sitting there waiting seven to eight ish I'm on the plane waiting and then after getting off the plane going through immigrations waiting and then finally driving to uh, the office, sitting there, just waiting. Invariably, I reach uh, the office at about 11.30 or 12 o'clock, depending on the traffic as well. Now, if I was to ride, I would be getting up at 5 instead of 3, leaving at 6. I would be at the first stop at 7 you know, fill up petrol and have a coffee and maybe a light breakfast. Ride maybe an hour or so or two hours to the next stop, which then I would have a, a, a good breakfast and uh, fill up petrol. And then from there, head straight to my hotel. So invariably, I will get up, I'll have about two more hours extra sleep. By the time I get to the hotel, it will be just about 10 a.m. And the hotel is just 15 minutes away from the office. So I can go upstairs, change, shower, and hit an Uber or a Grab or what have you, or Lyft, and reach my office by 10.30. Then I get two hours of work done. But of course, the, the, the most interesting part would be that I'm not just waiting. Along the way, I have a, a, a beautiful ride. If the weather is good, even if the weather isn't good, I don't care. You know, uh, we're riding, we love it, right? Uh, plus, I can decide where I want to have breakfast. I can't have that on the flight, it's too short. I don't want to rush through something. Uh, while the stewardess is trying to rush me to finish my stuff and, and get rid of it. Or well, the flight attendant, sorry, uh, have to be uh, PC about it. The ride will be more enjoyable than sitting and being and just waiting. I save a lot of time. I get to enjoy the ride. I reach there earlier than the flight. Not because uh, the bike is faster than the, than the car, it means that I'm just reducing the waiting time uh, from the time I get up to uh, 
the time I board and the plane and so forth. So, so invariably, if I could get it within a day, and, and even if I was to say, go to Phuket, Thailand. So that's for work, right? And for, for holidays, that was the other part of the question, right? So uh, again, if I was to go to, to Phuket, same thing, uh, the two hour uh, wait, the flight to uh, probably an hour and a half, and then clearing immigrations and getting to uh, the hotel from the airport. It will be a little bit longer on the bike, but I can still make it within the day. And it's so much more enjoyable because along the way I can stop at the various small towns in Thailand and have a drink or sample their food, you know, uh, just like different parts of America. Thailand's pretty big as well, you know, different parts of Thailand, the food is different. So you get to sample the different foods, meet different people. Uh, you know, on the plane, it's just you, your headphones, uh, and the flight attendants, which, you know, can get pretty boring. I personally feel trapped. Uh, I'm not claustrophobic, but you know, uh, it's just no fun being in a plane. Anyway, do uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Uh, and if you have similar experiences or you would like to just tell us tell us your choice, uh, please leave your comments below. Uh, and if you're new to this channel, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet, please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to let you know when I'm putting out new videos. Thank you very much everyone for uh, watching this video. All of you be safe and have safe rides.